Hello students in this video we are going to discuss about the introduction nomenclature and isomerism of alkanes as already mentioned alkanes are the saturated open chain hydrocarbon containing carbon carbon single bond so let us discuss the more about alkanes these hydrocarbons are inert under the normal condition as they do not react with the acids bases and other reagents so as these are not reacting under the normal condition therefore these are inert that is under the normal conditions hence they were earlier known as paraffins because the latin word para means the little and affinis means affinity that means they have little affinity towards the acids bases and other reagent that is under the normal conditions so these are also termed as paraffins the chemical formula for alkanes can be written as the formula cnh2n+2 that is the general formula for alkane family or for the homologous series the general formula for alkane is c n h 2 n plus 2 where n stands for the number of carbon atoms and n plus 2 n plus 2 stands for the number of hydrogen atoms in the molecule so the general formula for these alkanes are c n h 2 n plus 2 where n is representing the number of carbon atoms present in that alkene and 2n plus 2 that is representing the number of hydrogen atom present in that compound so let us make the homologous series for these that is the first 10 alkanes are named as follow first that is one carbon one carbon alkane is methane methane is the first member of this family that is methane as we have already discussed in the previous videos that is we are naming this for this we have to remember the word root that is for one carbon meth for two carbon eth then prop but pent hex hept oct nen and dec and for the case of alkane because all the carbon carbon bonds are single here therefore we using the suffix ane ane is the suffix we used that is also there in the name itself ane ane is the suffix used uh, for naming of a hydrocarbon because here all the carbon carbon bond are single and we have to remember the word root the word root that is actually the number of carbon in the main chain so this is actually the name comes like methane ethane propane butane pentane hexane heptane octane nenane and decane now you can check uh, these uh, molecular formula we can generate by this formula that is cnh2n+2 that is uh, how we can generate uh, like like the case of uh, third carbon if there is three carbon alkane so what will be the formula you can make the use of this formula that is cn h 2 n plus 2 now here n is equal to 3 so what will be the number of h that is 2 n plus 2 that is 2 into 3 because n is 3 here 2 into 3 plus 2 that is how much that is equal to 8 so that is what we have the formula here c 3 h 8 so you can make the use of this formula for generating the molecular formula for different uh, alkanes so the alkanes um, in which uh, we are taking here the first member of this family that is methane and when we replace one of the hydrogen of methane when we replace one of the hydrogen of me of methane and if we keep uh, ch3 in the place of h when we keep ch3 what we get is the formula now we got the formula because this is what actually we have replaced in the place of hydrogen now this group is 
get combined here so now what is called this one this is called as actually ethane ethane that is the second member of this family ethane and this one is methane so actually the number of carbon is increased by replacing one of the hydrogen and the alkyl group get attached so we have learned about the alkyl groups what is alkyl group alkyl groups are formed by the loss of a hydrogen atom from the corresponding alkane that is from alkane when you remove one hydrogen so we can learn this formula like this the formula for alkane minus one hydrogen so what we got uh, the alkyl group that formula you can learn very easily that is uh, alkane from alkane when you remove one hydrogen so what you will be getting you will be getting the group that is called as alkyl group so this is what the formula you have to remember and naming should also be done in the same way that uh, here ch4 ch4 is actually methane and when we remove one hydrogen from methane what we are getting we are getting the group that is methyl group now the name is also we can learn very easily of alkane and alkyl group because the alkyl groups are named by dropping the ane word ane suffix of the alkanes and adding the suffix yl that is when you write the name for this one alkane so this suffix ane when you drop it that means remove the suffix and when you add the suffix yl now it has become alkyl so how we name this one let us take one example like ethane the formal ethane now when you remove this suffix ane and when you write the suffix yl now what it become eth and yl that is called as ethyl so the name of a alkyl group very easily that is from the alkane remove the suffix ane and keep the suffix yl so methane become methyl propane become propyl butane the name butane drop this one and keep yl so what it become butyl so like this uh, you can generate the alkyl group from alkane and how you make the formula just uh, remove one hydrogen from that corresponding alkane it gives rise to that alkyl group so now let us discuss about uh, the structure for alkanes so the first member of this group is methane so the structure of methane is made here as we have already discussed the hybridization in the case of methane here the carbon is is sp3 hybridized and it have a tetrahedral geometry where h o h bond angle because being tetrahedral so the bond angle is a 109.5 degree and the cc bond is and the ch bond that is given here that is in the case of ethane will be having cc bond because here there is only one carbon so we can't take the value cc value here but in the case of ethane or any other hydrocarbon that is in alkanes the cc bond length is 154 pm and ch bond length is 112 pm so the geometry and the structure for this and the hybridization we have already discussed in the chapter chemical bonding and molecular structure next is the nomenclature for nomenclature we have to remember the formula which we have already used in the previous chapter that is prefix plus word root plus primary suffix plus secondary suffix because here we are talking about alkanes so in this will not having functional group will be having only prefix word root and primary suffix because it is alkane here carbon carbon bond is single so in that case we have to use the primary suffix ane so 
when we are doing the nomenclature for alkanes we will be using till here only that is once again i will make will be using till here only because we'll not getting any secondary suffix because functional group will have a the oxygen nitrogen or any other group so we'll be using till here only prefix that is actually representing the substitute group word root that is the number of carbon in the main chain and the primary suffix because here cc single bond are there because it is an alkane so we'll be using the suffix a and e now directly we'll take some examples and these examples are given in the textbook so let us uh, write the iupac name for these alkanes like first one here we have to select the longest chain as uh, here the chain is already selected in this one this is the longest chain can you take the other possibility is there or not um, when you check any other possibility so when you check any other possibilities like one possibility i will make here that is uh, this possibility so if this is a continuous chain but here the number of carbon 1 2 3 4 5 only but the main chain which we have already selected in that six number of carbons are there any other possibility when you take this as possibility so 1 2 3 4 5 6 here you are getting six number so when you select this one or this that we have selected here that is this one both are the same one so better we select this one as a main chain and the previous one which i selected that is also six carbon so you can select that or this in both the cases it is the um, correct name same name will be getting now here let us find out which one is our substitute so substitute that is the we will mark it with circle that is this is a substitute and here there is also a substitute now substitute is one of the substitute is methyl the other one is ethyl is a substitute now we have to number it now the numbering we have to uh, select that way in which we get the minimum sum for the substitute so when we start from left hand side when we start from the left hand side the second position is the position for methyl group and this is the fourth position so 2 plus 4 is equal to 6 but you when you start from the other side that is when you start from uh, the side this is the first carbon let second third four five six at the time just make the sum here that is now this one the ethyl group is on the third carbon and uh, methyl group is uh, on the fifth carbon so what you get the sum you will get the eight so as i told you if more than one substitute are there try from both the side that is from left side and also from right side try it where you get uh, the minimum sum uh, that you will be choosing the numbering that um, from that end you will be starting the numbering but if the sum is same at the time you have to go through the alphabetic order of the substitute where it get minimum number for uh, the alphabetic order first member that you can choose it. so here which one is the correct numbering that is the numbering which we have done from the left side so that is the correct numbering so i am selecting once again this main chain now how we name this one methyl group is on the second carbon and ethyl group is on the fourth carbon so how we name this one methyl and ethyl alphabetic order which one comes first ethyl comes first so the name for this one is 4 ethyl and 2 methyl next is the word root what is the word root that is 6 carbon hex and the primary suffix is a n e so hex is the word root a n e is the primary suffix and we have 4 ethyl and 2 methyl so that is what the name comes here 4 ethyl 2 methyl hexane and i told you whenever you are writing a number 
after that when you start with an alphabet keep a dash between here here also you can see between the alphabet and the number there should be dash so that is the right way of writing the IUPAC name the next example this example here main chain that is 8 carbon main chain this is the main chain now from where we start the numbering from the right side because you can see the groups are closer towards the right side so we can start the numbering from the right side so here this is a ethyl group better i will mark the ethyl group that is this is a substitute this one is also a substitute this is a substitute and this one is also substitute so we have four substitute here so how we name this one because here uh, the ethyl these substitute are same so we can use the word diethyl and the numbering is uh, both are on the third position so we can name it as 3 3 diethyl next what we have a uh, next group uh, this is methyl group and this is isopropyl so the isopropyl 5 isopropyl because the isopropyl group which one is isopropyl this is this group uh, is uh, on the fifth carbon so 5 isopropyl and on the fourth carbon there is one methyl group so 4 methyl then what we have 8 carbon is the main chain so oct then ain so that is what the answer for this one that is 3 3 on the third position there are two ethyl group therefore 3 3 diethyl so how i i name this one 3 3 diethyl on the fifth carbon there is a isopropyl group that is this is isopropyl group and on the fourth carbon there is a methyl group and octane because the word root having eight carbon therefore octane so this is the right name for this one the next is the example in which the word the main chain is clear from here the main chain having 10 number of carbon and this group is actually isopropyl group and here there is one group you can check here this is 4 carbon group so what will be the name for 4 carbon group that is butyl we will be using the word butyl but it is not a normal butyl because you can see uh, the attachment of this group uh, with the main chain that is on the fifth carbon is through this carbon and this carbon we can take it as secondary carbon because when you check uh, uh, in this uh, this is actually one alkyl group um, and this is one alkyl group um. so what will be this carbon as i told you when any carbon is attached to two alkyl group um, then that carbon is called a secondary carbon so this is actually secondary uh, but uh, and here it is four carbon group that's why we use the word secondary butyl so what we use the word secondary butyl so secondary butyl group um, that is on the fifth carbon and isopropyl group is on the fourth carbon so butyl word b starts first so alphabetic order will be starting with the secondary butyl b starter so next one is the isopropyl so that we can b comes first then i so here we'll be naming this one as a 5 secondary butyl 4 isopropyl decane why we are using the word dec here because total 10 number of carbons are there 10 number of carbon that means the word root is dec and all are single bonded carbon therefore it is called as decane so 5 secondary butyl 4 isopropyl decane the next example in this example here it's very easy 7 carbon is the main chain this is the main chain and the substitute these two are the substitute that is clear from here the substitute this is a substitute and this one is also a substitute this is methyl and this one is ethyl now from where we start the counting where the 
is closest when you check here 1 2 3 from here methyl group is on the third carbon when you start the counting from the right side and uh, this one is 4 5 so that is the position is uh, from right side the position of uh, ethyl and methyl when you check from the right side that is from this side if I am checking here this one is third carbon and this one is the fourth that means the 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 now when you check from the left side when you check from the left side the position of ethyl that is the 3 and the position of methyl is 5 so that is equal to 8 so as I told you when two different substitute are there and from both the end when you are getting the sum of their position same in that case we have to follow alphabetic order alphabetically order which substitute comes first that should be given minimum number so here alphabetic order that is ethyl word when we use the word ethyl ethyl and methyl so alphabetically e comes first that means the ethyl group that is this group should get minimum number so here from where we count that it get minimum number that is from left side when you left side when you count it it get three number but when you count it from right side you will be getting five that's why this is what uh, the numbering which is given here that is the right way of numbering that is from left side only we can number this one so we are applying this rule and I already mentioned this rule in the previous videos. So now how we name this one numbering we have select the longest chain we have done the numbering now we have to write the order what is the order first is the prefix prefix that is substitute substitute methyl is the substitute and ethyl is the substitute so two substitutes are there and alphabetically E comes first that for ethyl we have to name first so how we name this one 3 ethyl 5 methyl and what is the word root 7 carbons are there so word root is hept and um, because all carbon carbon bond are single so heptane so the name is 3 ethyl 5 methyl heptane next term all of you try this problem that is given in the textbook it's a solved problem solution is already given here that is problem number 13.3 so the question is write the IUPC name of the following compound here the name you have to give already the name is given so first of all try yourself better you expand it how you want to how you expand this one this one we have to expand it because uh, here bracket signs are given so how we'll be expanding this one i will explain the second one how we'll expand this one ch3 twice ch3 twice means ch3 two times are there which is attached to this carbon ch3 two times next what we have c2h5 two times that means c2 h5 is two times now this is what actually we have expanded so which one is the main chain in this that will be you find difficult so i will explain which one is the main chain here because here two carbon and here two carbon and this is single carbon so when you take this one will be the longest chain because uh, two carbon here this is one and two so total 5 carbon this is the longest chain so here this and this should be the substitute so the here the word root uh, word root because when word root will be 5 carbon pent and a primary suffix that is a n e and two substitute methyl group that is on which carbon because when you start the counting from here or here it is same number you'll be getting for this carbon so that is this is second this is the third carbon so two methyl groups are on the third carbon so that is the name comes here 3 3 dimethyl and the word root is pent primary suffix a n e so this is what the name so 
other two examples also better expand it and do it and check your answer with the answer which is given in the solution part next is the isomerism in alkanes as we have learnt about isomerism which have same molecular formula but different structures why they have different structure uh, different physical and chemical properties because of different structure or any other what we have learned so here in this when you look at the example the molecular formula c5h2l what are the different possibilities are there because you can write in the single chain even you can branch it like this and further branching can also be possible so in this when you compare the values of boiling point which is given here because you can see the boiling point is different as the molecular formula is same here but still they have different boiling point so the different boiling point that means that the different physical property is because these are the compounds are called as isomers as we have learned the definition they have same molecular formula but different physical and chemical properties as here branching is taking place so what is actually this isomers called as structural isomers which differ in the chain of carbon atom that is it's called as chain isomers so this is actually the example of chain isomer why it is called as chain isomer because the number of carbon atom in the main chain is different here we can see five number of carbon are there in the main chain and here four number of carbon are there in the main chain and in this case only three carbon atoms are there in the main chain that's why the word root here it is pent here the word root is but and here it is prop so what is the similarity in this the number of carbon hydrogen are same but these compounds are not same we can call it as isomers and these are called as chain isomers because of different number of carbon in the main chain next term we have a some problem that is of the problem 13.1 write the structures of different chain isomers of alkanes corresponding to the molecular formula c6 H fourteen also write the IUPAC name. So the molecular formula is given to us C six H fourteen. So try all the possibilities. That is just first you make the straight chain, then you make the branching, and find out what are the different possibilities are there. But very most important thing that the carbon number should not get changed, hydrogen number should not get changed, and the carbon should be tetravalent that you have to check that the carbon should be tetravalent in each case so then you can frame the different possible structural isomers that is a chain isomer so the solution is already given here that is a, you can see the number of possibilities here the difference is in the main chain here is the 6 carbon in the main chain here are the 5 carbon here also five carbon but the position of methyl group get differ and here there is a four carbon so these are the different possibilities so all of you check these possibilities and one more possibility is there so that you can also do it here so in this way you can find out the different possible structural isomers for alkanes So this is all about this video have a nice day